All right, y'all. Time for another update. I'm about to, man, it's bright out there. It's over. Time for me to get this started on the truck. Let me see. I see the truck. Truck back there. About to get the truck pushed back and then get the start on. And we're going to go from there. They go to start. I know y'all saw it in the last update, but here a better look at how it looked. Straight bolt pattern. High torque. Like I said, Hitachi style. This is Summit brand. $120, something like that, I think. Uh, you want to wire it up. Real simple. Put all the big wires, the wires with the big loop, they go right here. Then you provide it a uh, male, a female, uh, male, female in, my bad. So my, provide the female in and the other blue in and the small wire goes right there. So you cut your loop off, crimp it to that, and then boom. That's it. Bolt it up. And let's ride. So we're about to get all that done. It's all gonna be needed for the job, pretty much. These bolts right here, 14 millimeter, or 9 16th to work. So you need a need a uh, socket. Depending on how long your wires is too. Well, the, not the wires. <laughs> I mean, but these these the bolts, starter bolts, to hold the starter up. So do a little extension, and you'll be straight. And then you need a 13 or a half inch for this nut right here to get it tightened down. Then they just clip on with the uh, female end. So, oh, and you need need some something to crimp the wire. You can see my old, it's time to get some new ones. I might buy some new ones today, man. Coming apart, but put the wire in there. It used to have colors on here, so you can see it. Most of y'all know what these is, though. I ain't got to explain the tools, but just in case, you put it in there, you got to put it right up in here, past this, past that little line, and crimp it right there. Then clip that on, that's it. This shouldn't take long, so I'm going to slide up on the truck. Got the truck jacked up already. I'm going to slide up on there and get this on in. We should be in there. Up under the truck. Hold on. It's a little tight. Let me take it off of this. All right. These are the wires. Now, like I said, you got your two... Three, my bad. Got three big loops. Uh, battery. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't remember the, uh, where they going and everything, but I know battery, one alternator, and somebody else in the comments will help y'all with the rest on. <laughs> my memory is uh, blank right now. But anyway, simple. You put the, all the big loops go together. All the big loops go together. This uh, small loop is gonna have to be cut off. I'm gonna have to put that female in on this small wire. And it's just gonna clip on top of the starter. Uh, you look up there, this is where the starter gonna bolt up. Uh, some blocks only have one pattern. So sometimes people break bolts off in here and you don't want that. So starter gonna bolt up right here and right here. Wire's gonna be out this way. Then that's how it works. It engages and catches the teeth of the flywheel. And you want to inspect the teeth of the flywheel. Mine look fine, but you want to make sure ain't none chipped or none of that. Because if it is, you're going to have to take the transmission out of all of this and replace the flywheel. Right, so. I got the wire crimped on. I'm going to make sure you got it crimped good. Like I said, it's just, I got some sticking out, but I just want to make sure I got a good connection. All right, I got the wire crimped on. Say so yeah, I got it crimped uh, pretty good. Well, make sure you got it crimped good. You don't want this popping off. So uh, now I'm about to get it hooked up and then I'm gonna work it up through here. Work it up through right here and then bolt it up. All right, y'all. Y'all see where I started out 
And y'all see where it's at now. <laughs> y'all see where it's at now. I'm just gonna say start of one, J Malcolm zero. So, so <laughs> it's at the shop, man. And you get frustrated, you can't work on nothing. So I just got it towed back to the shop. Aunt had to finish up some stuff anyway. And uh, getting all that. <laughs> hey look, yeah, he told me to wait. Hey y'all, I was supposed to been at the, getting the rear end done. All of that. Then I had starter issues, so I couldn't get the rear done. It just pushed everything back. So, you know, it's just part of it. So, we're getting everything tightened up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the exhaust done so we can at least drive it around. Then I'm gonna get the rear and all that. Like I showed y'all, I got the mufflers, the flows. I'm gonna pick up some stuff for O'Reilly. I got the antifreeze because we need that. Again, it getting cool at night in Georgia. I went ahead and got the red head again. I got an air cleaner call. I'm gonna drive my truck, man. I need need some carburetor cover. Protect this all. But yeah, he's gonna get this straight out. And I'm gonna check back in. Alright, we're gonna see if he's gonna get it, y'all. My problem I was having. I get one bolt started and the other one would not go in there. So, the starter whooped me. <laughs> now, the way they normally go, y'all, with me and Unc, if I have a problem and I can't get something done that I'm fighting with, he make it look easy and he go up there and just get it done within seconds. Man, I got the bolt in there, man. <laughs> he ain't got that boat. He ain't got that boat enough. Y'all, he pump faking for the uh, camera. So I guarantee you, both of them boat things. One of them gonna fall out. Hey, he started up. You ain't got both of them boats enough. Started going up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, ain't this about a bitch? Okay, I'm going. I ain't right. did some junk. I ain't did some junk. Man. All right, we're going to the next clip. All right, so got the starter situated. I should have filmed when he turned the plate. I was, I was slipping. We got talking, so I ain't. He, he adjusted the plate out and stuff, so we got the starter situated. Uh, the starter right. Summit brand starter, A plus for me. They all right. <laughs> I ain't got that much compression. They cranked for up to 14 to 1, so he did a half of a turn, it, it fired up. So the starter good. He just took the old red head out, getting the fans on the new one. Now, can let the fans on the new one. Then be going back in there. We actually got more clearance too, because it's slightly shorter. So we got more clearance. It sits back in here. So we got a little more room up here now. Um, they're pretty much the lumps on everything. Then got the straps, the straps on there, but they not. It's not bolted down. Um, that'll be pretty fast for him. He's gonna just bolt that down. It's simple. And I gotta get the wire and all that to hook the sitting unit up. We'll do that later, but. We're trying to get it completed and run, really run, cause that red head was leaking. So he gonna be taking it to the muffler shop for me and we're gonna get the muffler put on and see what it sound like with some exhaust. So I'm gonna take back in in a minute. All right, y'all, so this is it for tonight. We got everything situated. We got the got the breather on. The new radiator is in, antifreeze in, water, all of that. Starter, starter on. Man, y'all got to... <laughs> oh, well, one more wait to Unk Finny washing his hands so he can y'all can see how this started. It started just, it started crazy. So, uh, yeah, it's true, it's true. We got that. He got. He gonna do the straps tomorrow for the fuel cell. It'll be strapped down. 
I got my battery box. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. But he's gonna do that tomorrow. Then gonna make some brackets tomorrow to hold the radiator right there from the sides and. Then after that, we're going to put the fog on it. Then we're going to probably go tall deck, 454 in it. Man, then we'll be ready for action then. Don't listen to Lil Sam. Don't listen to Lil Sam. Go ahead and y'all. Hey, man. That, hey, get the camera back. That's like scary. Right? Yeah, man. I sold Deadpool to invest in the cheapskate with Jay Malcolm. We're going tall deck, 454. <laughs> he talked me into it, so. See y'all That's it, Tyler. That's a wrap for the night.